All right, let's do this. So we got some more Agua Caliente fuel, adding a few more directionals for their Java Caliente. So let's go over it right quick. We've got two shoebox cabinets that go to the wall. Pretty simple for those. And then we've got one um, similar to what you've already made directional sign, but it's got some fancy stuff we'll go over. So let's do the lay of the land. Uh, you've got the directional box the one cabinet. So you got the frame pieces, you got the backer, got some jigs all there. Um, you got the top and bottoms of these fancy bars. We'll go over those. Um, super custom keystone power supply and just various pieces. You got the top cap. They got to cut at an angle. I got a drilling jig for you and we're going to go ahead and seal up the bottom of that six by six post because it's pretty big. A lot of concrete might go in there. Um, and then we've got our um, acrylic Go ahead and get that to first shop. And then while we're on the uh, lay of the land, we'll just go over the shoe boxes here. You've got half inch push throughs, shoot studs, you know all about these. I'm gonna go ahead and send you two Mark sixes. Those are for behind the wall. And we got push throughs, just get those to first shop. And tough act backers. I uh, got some patterns. Um, so anyway, we'll just leave it here. You guys can do these probably in your sleep. You got your little nuggets there. Uh, just for, you know, whatever. You got your scribes, all that. So, you know these guys. Uh, let's go over the directional. Uh, the directional also is basically how we live. You've already done these. Um, this is going to be the internal frame like we do. It's going to be the inside frame. And then in order to make a retainer for a slide in face, you're going to, it's going to have this soft gooey center. And then you're going to lords on the hard candy shell all the way around the outside once you've built the frame. And then you're gonna go ahead and lords on the back and that's gonna close it up. Uh, and then the, I made the right side um, removable. So you'll see there, you know, right side removable. But uh, we made these before. Um, the only other thing is the power supply box, you know, getting kind of tricky as usual, trying to make, uh, cause I, I wanted to stay outside of the LED area, um, but also just in case they wanted to change this face um, it's one thing to build it for custom because I know that it's going to be opaque like in through here. So sure, you could just put the power supply right here or you could put the power supply on the bottom. But what if they want to at some point put a bunch of LEDs in here and change the way this lights up? So I tried to do a profile that, uh, as you can see here, kind of keeps everything towards the back. Um, this is going to actually seal up against the back once the back is all in there and it's all lords up and then you go ahead and tack this bad boy in there then you'll have occasion to be able to seal up how that fits right there inside the inside the framing um, you'll be able to seal that up it's right up here so you can see where the lid goes right up against the back and uh, we'll sit up top here it gets uh, riveted on there and it gets um, welded to the inside frame. So, but anyway, even if they had LEDs right here, hopefully we might not be, might not be too much shadow and would allow for, you know, retro. Anyway, that's why we're getting so tricky on that. Um, but uh, I got a custom skinny there. I'm going to give this a try too. We're just going to go for like a, a stretched out roll for, for the access for the switch instead of our usual rectangle. I'm thinking maybe we might kind of go that direction because it's a less of a big, you know, rectangle, less to see, see how that goes. Um, but you're gonna go ahead and um, rivet this all together first. So just bend this up one, two, two. Um, you have a removable door. You have um, your little switch box hider hole here that um, you'll go ahead and rivet from the backside here and then get that all together first, rivet on your little lid, get all that sexy. Then you're just gonna go ahead and Clico it into the frame here, um, like I have up top there. You're just gonna Clico it into the frame and then just go ahead and tack it there and tack it where you can get in there. And that's all it needs, tack it on the top. And then like I said, go ahead and caulk it up really well to the backside there and stuff, that way, you know, maximum water. Um, but as far as all the rest of this, um, you're just going to go ahead and bend these up. That's your tops and bottoms. Uh, and then this gives you plenty to lords to. So you're going to lords the whole backer to all of this. And then you're going to go ahead and take your, um, your post like you do. It's a 30 degree cut. Here's your cut list. Um, it's 30 degree cut. Go ahead and cap it like you do. Go ahead and weld the base up as well. And uh, we'll go ahead and um, drill it. 
do your pre-drill. You can get your power to go. Talk to install whether they want to go ahead and run a hole here, or maybe you want to cut them a hole here. Um, I have the distance down, so you can see where you know minimum 18 inches down below grade, but somewhere in here, um, they might want you to plasma um, like a roval for them, or maybe they just want to cut a hole in the base. You can talk to them. Um, so anyway, uh, but yeah, you're just going to go ahead and get all that lords together, get on the back, and then you're going to go ahead and just Clico it. And um, once you lords it, and then you're going to shoot screws as well, lords and screw, lords and screw, and permanently mount it to the thing. What we've learned is the you know the wind out there, is super hurricane. So make sure that this thing is on there really strongly. Okay, then the decorative bars, nothing too crazy. You're just going to do a, a multi-step lords party here. So these are in four pieces here. You got like a top piece, you got the bottom piece. And then you got these two little side nuggets that are sort of going to hold it all together. And then when we're done, we want it to look like a piece of four and a half by inch and a quarter. So yes, it's a very weird size, but it has to match the cabinet. So what you're going to do is just get this bent up. And the first thing you're going to do is pop lords. And while it's, you know, you can do this quickly, just lords this into there, Clico that, and then lords this piece over into here and get the bottom ready. Then you can go ahead and just lords, you're just going to do a slide fit and then just lords the crud out of here, here, and then, you know, along the top there where, where this matches the, the top here, um, get that lords up really well. And then go ahead and just kind of lords the bottom sides here and just get all this like gooey. And then when you slide this all together, hopefully the shoe box will be enough, but where, um, Let's see, where's my side view? Yeah, so you can see where the inside goes up so high here that if you put a bunch of lords in the corner there, this should squish up, but if you put a little bit there and a little bit there, and then just goop the end, because that'll keep the end from moving. And you know, anyway, you'll see how that all goes together. Um, and then once that's all sexy, clean it up, um, you're just gonna put 5 16 rib nuts inside the bottom. And then once the cabinet's all finished and all set, you have four one inch nuggets to cut an inch and a half. Um, watch yourself, be careful. Uh, they don't have to be exactly one inch. It'd be nice, but you know, but make sure they're all the same. And then all you're going to do is sandwich. So, um, the outer hard candy shell has the spot for the, um, inch and a half to sneak in, and then it's going to bottom out here. So that's going to give you your alignment. It's going to give you all that. But for the topper thing, there's no real way to, so just, you know, measure it, eyeball it, make sure it's straight. But from the inside of the cabinet, you're just going to squeeze play, uh, maybe use some, you know, use some washers or something. So and then you're just going to so those are going to be the two decorative bits when you're when you're all done. That's a side view. So it'll just kind of look like, you know, all fancy pants there. Um, let's see. Yeah, kind of like that in the sketch. So anyway, uh, but that's the idea. So hopefully, uh, yeah, and then you're just going to get this tacked in there and then um, you can just take this, it's kind of like a two piece little corner or a one piece little corner thing there. But um, I think, uh, and use 12 volt or 24 volt keystone. So I don't think you all will see us on that. I think we're all good there. So it should be nice and sexy. Otherwise I think you got it. Um, like I say, it's just these little custom bars, but otherwise it's what we do. It's how, it's how we live, getting to how we live in. Um, let's see, yep, I think that's it. If you have any questions, hit me up. Check, check, check.